Hey guys, in this video I want to cover how I sculpt really tiny skulls. Right, They don't have to be perfect because they're quite miniature uh, and they're ideal for sort of maybe knee pads, armour detail. In my use case it quite often means that the tiny skull gets stuck to the top of a Vostroyan bearskin hat. Um, now what you're going to need is uh, green stuff, um, no surprise. Uh, a base. Now I've got a 40 millimeter one. It doesn't really matter what size, but I like these. They're a good sort of um, size to hold. And the sculpting tool we need is a rubber tipped sort of bladed chisel. So um, the back of this bit here, this is kind of rounded, and then the front of it points, right? So that's what we're going to need. Um, now to sculpt a skull, I'm going to pick a small bit of green stuff. Right? It doesn't have to be that, um, that uh, much really. Um, you'd be surprised at how little you can actually get away with. Um, and this is why I use these bases, because it's far easier to hold something large like this um, and sculpt onto this than, than trying to you know, sculpt a model. I mean, in some cases you, you won't be able to avoid it, um, but this we're going to pick it off with a knife when it's cured uh, and then apply it to, to something else. Um, so I've just picked out a small bit of uh, green stuff, applied it, I've patted it down with my fingers a little bit and now we've just got a little dot to work with. Now with the tool, I'm going to make sure it's wet because we don't want the green stuff um, sticking to the tool, we want it staying stuck to the base. And, and I just want to confirm that that is stuck. So yeah, it's, it's, it's on the base, it's not going to come off. Now the first thing we want to try and do is pinch with the bladed two sections in the bottom. All right, so we're kind of starting off almost like a mushroom shape right and with that we can pat it down a little bit more pinch it in all right I'm using the sides to try and get some some uh, slant into the underside all right and then we can pull this down a little bit more and then with the top we can push it upwards to get that sort of cranium um, now let's get a bit more water on the tool with the eyes, this is why I like this tool, is you can use the side of it, so the rounded at the bottom, and sort of just push in there, right? And then I can do the other side, like that. Right. Then with the sort of point, I'm gonna, gonna, gonna come from underneath and push inwards, right? It's almost designed to that sort of nose. Um, then we can just carry on with the, the, the top here. I wanted to try and press downwards and make sure the top of the eye ridge is now sort of a bit more pronounced. And we can push upwards. And the good thing about this bladed tool is it actually flicks round quite nicely. So you can get quite nice curves um, in it. And you might want to come back in and sort of change the shape of the eye like that. Uh, and then we can flick downwards underneath the nose. So there we go. And then I'm just going to flatten the sort of teeth area. So with this, you know, I might push down on the sort of eyebrow part there just a little bit. So you can carry on mucking around with that until you get it to a shape that you're relatively happy with. Again, this is kind of meant for really small skulls. So it's kind of that visual, um, maybe if you look up close, it's not that great, but from a distance, you know, it's pretty passable. Um, so that's how I sculpt uh, tiny skulls. I've got a couple more that I might have spent a little bit more time with um, the other day. Um, there are varying qualities, um, but it doesn't really matter because for the most part, these get sort of picked off with a knife, pressed into the wet green stuff of a new Vostroyan bearskin hat. Uh, and away you go. So hopefully this has been useful for you. This is how I sculpt tiny look skulls. Take care. Bye.